Hey everyone, welcome back to the YouTube channel of Developers and Coders Club. So today we are here to discuss the problem V the walkway, which is a part of the contrast of code forces around 893. In this question, we will be given first of all N, M, and D. What is the uh, meaning of N, M, D? That there are some benches from 1 to N. And there are M sellers. There are M cookie sellers. And there will be given an array of uh, like S0, S1 until Sn. These are representing that, that on S1 index, on S1 bench, there is a cookie seller. Okay, like uh, value of 1 is given to us 5. Then there will be some 5 benches. One is here, second, third, fourth, and fifth. fifth. And then if uh, value of M is given to and uh, s of 0 that is like 2 and s of 1 that is 5 so this is saying that there are two cookie seller one is here and uh, second one is on fifth index so and there is also given a d so there is a beta that see he want uh, there is a beta and he is standing in the beginning of the walkway he will pass near all benches starting from first bench and ending with the nth bench. Beta passes the distance between two consecutive benches in one minute. He has a knapsack with an infinite amount of cookies. Uh, what is the meaning of a knapsack with an infinite amount of cookies? That means that see, uh, he have a storage that have infinite amount of cookies. Now Beta is going to eat cookies from his knapsack and buy them from cookie seller during the walk. So, but uh, there is some condition if that is followed then only he can eat cookies so better eat cookies only near the benches according to the following rule and what are the rules that he will eat the cookie near the i bench if and only if at least one of the following condition holds there are three conditions uh, there is a cookie seller near the i bench like if he is standing near the i bench and he wants to eat a cookie then there is three condition at least one of these three conditions should follow if at least one is followed then he can eat a cookie on this ith bench so uh, what is the first condition that is there is a cookie seller near the ith bench so if there is a cookie seller on this bench then he can eat a cookie what is the second condition that Petya has not yet eaten a cookie that means then Petya will uh, Peter will take a cookie from his knapsack and eat it immediately. What is the meaning of this one? That Peter has not eat yet any cookie. Like uh, uh, he is starting from zero and he has reached to this i index but have not eat any cookie yet. On that time he can eat a cookie on this index. Then there is third condition that at least D nerds passed since Peter ate the previous cookie. In other words. Beta has not eaten a cookie near the benches i minus 1, i minus 2 till i minus d plus 1. What is the meaning of this? That if you are currently on i and just suppose that value of d is 3, then i minus 1 and i minus 2. If he has not eat any cookie on this or this, then he can, or can eat the cookie on this index. So there are three conditions. If anyone is followed among these three, then he can eat a cookie on this index. Now what is our task? That we want to minimize the number of cookies Peta will eat during his walk. And in order to do this, you will ask the administration of this, this school to remove exactly one cookie seller. We can remove exactly one cookie seller from the walkway before Peta start uh, his walk. So uh, we need to print two numbers. First one will be the minimum number of cookies which he can eat and second one is the on uh, the number of cookie seller we can remove such that the minimum number of cookies can be eaten by beta so how we can target this question uh, first condition just tell me that is it right that uh, he will eat a cookie on first index whatever uh, uh, this assert is given to us whatever this array is given to us he will eat a cookie on first index y because there is the second rule that if he has not eat any cookie yet 
then he can eat a cookie on that index right so on first index if the one is a part of that us then obviously he can eat if that is not a part of us then also he can eat why because before this one he has not eat any cookie yet right so this is the first condition that in or given us array if there is not one then we can insert a one there because uh, always he will add eat a cookie one first so like uh, if given us is three five six seven then i will convert it in one three five six seven why because we are hundred percent sure that on first index he will always is a cookie after that like uh, this is all n so one just consider as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay. value of m is 10 and value of m is consider that as a 3 then when us array is 2 5 and 9 that means 2 5 and 9 so on these three indexes there are three cookies seller now before removing any cookie seller, how many cookies beta can eat? So he will eat only the first index. Why? Because he has not eaten any yet. So as we are converting it as 1, 2, 5, and 9. So we can fill this also as a cookie seller. So on first index, he will eat. And on second index, also he can eat. Why? Because there is a cookie seller. Then and consider D equal to mm, so on this index can he eat not why because there are three rules first one was there is a cookie seller yeah uh, there is not any cookie seller second one was that uh, is like beta has not ate, ate any cookie yet but uh, he have ate these three cookies so second one is also not followed third one was that a uh, beta has not eat any cookie uh, from since, since last uh, d minutes and we look d is 3 but if you are here then uh, he has a tip give in the last minute so third condition is also not followed so um, he cannot eat any cookie on this index then on this also he cannot eat why those first and second is not followed and third but this is first and this is second minute which means that on the uh, like this is the current minute this is this second last and this is the third minute but uh, he has eaten on this uh, index so on this index also he cannot eat because on in the third condition there was written that i minus 1 i minus 2 till i minus d plus 1 so i minus 3 plus 1 that is i minus 2 so if uh, value of d is 3 then we have to check for i minus 1 and i minus 2. So in this also, uh, he cannot eat. On this one, he can eat. Why? Because there is a cookie seller. So in this, on this, on this, uh, he can eat. Then on this, cannot, cannot. And on this, he can eat. Why? Because this is i minus 1 and this is i minus 2. On both conditions, on both indexes, he has not ate any cookie. So on this index, he can eat so mark it then this also because there is a cookie seller then on this he cannot eat why because last minute he have it eight a cookie so total five number of cookies he will eat if we uh, we are not removing any uh, cookie seller now just try to find out that how we are going to calculate the number of cookies he can eat what i'm saying it how we are going to find out that the how many number of cookies he can eat if we are not remove any cookie seller so for that can i say that uh, like we take d equal to 3 then if there is any 1 2 3 4 like there is a cookie seller there is a cookie seller but these four are empty indexes so on these four how many indexes only on how many indexes he can eat a cookie 
only this one will be y because this is i minus 1 this is i minus 2 so on this he cannot it on this he cannot it on this also he cannot it by because on the pressure he has at a cookie so like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 just consider that there is a cookie seller and there is a cookie seller and these 10 places are empty in that case if d is 3 then can I say that he will eat on this index then on this then on this uh, okay uh, he can can eat only this okay I put in it uh, wait a minute on this on this and on this so he can eat on three indexes so can I say that whatever the difference is here 1 2 3 like 10 difference is 10 here so difference by k this is the number of cookies he will eat among these empty conditions empty indexes right so this is the number of cookies he can eat on these empty places so what we can do that we can iterate from the uh, start of the array on any index this is representing I'm on which array we are iterating on s that is representing the uh, like i index of that is representing that on which uh, seller of cookie seller i is on which index so what i can say that whatever the previous is written here so the uh, difference among this will be just consider that as a current this is previous so difference among these two uh, seller cookie seller will be current minus frame minus one right this will be the difference the number of indexes between these two then uh, our count of cookies will be increased with this difference by d and uh, like what i'm doing that i'm on this and i'm checking that how many cookies he can eat from their difference and he will eat from this index so count plus plus why because he also can eat a cookie from this index so uh, like how i am going to calculate the number of cookies he can eat uh, if you are not removing any index any seller cookie seller so for that i am iterating on our for, on our uh, cookie seller array consider that as s then previous i can say that uh, let's start with zero that the uh, last index on which a cookie seller was present consider that as zero then i can say that increase count with x minus s y d and count plus plus y because this x is representing a cookie seller is on this x index so for that count plus plus so till now we have find out we have find out that how many cookies we can eat if uh, we are not removing any cookie seller now the main target is that to find out that if we index this i cookie seller then how many uh, cookies will be eaten by the beta so like uh, this is the given array this is s array then consider that we are removing this then can i say that uh, like previous one was that dip, this difference this difference and uh, like if you are not removing this then the number of cookies you can eat among this one will be difference one by k plus difference two by k plus one this is the number of cookies you can eat from this index to this index if you are not removing this one but if you are removing this one then can i say that this is the complete difference from this complete then in that way you will eat difference by k cookies only what i am saying that if you are removing this one then this will be the complete difference that will be difference by k this is the number of cookies you will eat if you are not removing if you are removing this 
and if you are not removing this in date condition difference one one will be this and difference two will be this and difference one by k plus difference two by k plus one y plus one because uh, he will eat on this also so what we can do that uh, on each index what i have done like you can iterate simply on i index you can take i minus one element i plus one element but for more clarifying i have used prefix and suffix prefix array and suffix array for that that what was the previous index on both direction then from that i am calculating the answer so what i have done here that if the uh, as you know that our given array will be sorted array so if the starting element of that is not zero then i am uh, inserting a one there then uh, sorting that in increasing order then considering our previous a zero this is the count of cookies he will eat if you are not removing any cookies or uh, any cookie seller then i am iterating on our array then this is the number of cookies for counting the number of cookies that difference x minus prev minus 1 by k that will be added in count then count plus plus and prefix i am using for uh, considering that what is the uh, previous cookie seller index on this ith index so for that i am using prefix and same for i calculating the suffix that is the previous uh, considering previous age n plus 1 okay why i have done this what i have done that n minus prev upon uh, just consider that this is 1 to n index okay and on this and this there are two cookies again so this difference also should be considered for that what i have done after this array that n minus prev n minus prev this is the difference how, uh, how many cookies we can eat on this difference for that i am using this one then um, Pre uh, value of prior is n plus 1 because I am calculating the suffix so suffix of j will be prior and I am updating prior with current element then uh, this is the count of to uh, total number of cookie seller which uh, should be removed if we want to uh, minimize the number of co eaten cookies so what I am doing that this is current array of j minus your previous, uh, previous of this j minus 1 this is the difference 1 this is the difference too that is suffix of j minus array of j and this is the complete difference that is suffix of j minus prefix of j minus 1 now this is c1 that is this difference by k then c2 is this, this difference by k and then c3 is there this difference by k now if c3 is less than c1 plus c2 plus 1 that is this one this is the c1 this is the c2 and this is plus 1 and this is uh, difference by k that is c3 now if c3 is less than c1 plus c2 plus 1 in that condition we can say that uh, we can remove this cookie seller because from that we are getting less number of cookies so for that uh, if that is then i will increase the total count of total number of cookie seller uh, which can be removed then if uh, that total total is not equal to 0 what i want to say that there is some condition on which this condition is followed then we can decrease our count of cookies with 1 because in that condition uh, there will be a condition on which one cookies uh, is not eaten but if total number of cookies uh, total is 0 what is this uh, saying that um, there is not any condition on which we can reduce our count of cookies so in that condition can i say that we if we remove any cookie seller we are not able to decrease the count of cookies so in that case we can update our total with total number of cookie seller because that is the total count of cookie seller uh, on which the total number of uh, eaten cookies is fixed so in that case i will say that total is m then simply i am printing count and count and total so you will get the code in description you can check from there i hope you all understand this question see you in the next one till then happy coding bye bye